Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, March 19th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am realistic, I expect miracles. And today we are in our final day of Sun in Pisces. And I know I told you that the Sun is moving into Aries today, and it is. But it's not moving until 8 p.m. Pacific Time, which is... 11 p.m. Eastern Time and technically tomorrow for um, Europe and all you crazies over there. So, <laughs> um, so today, today we're really wrapping up the Piscean energy. And while the fire is going to come creeping into us, uh, really it's going to take a moment for that adjustment. Anytime the sun moves into a sign, it moves in at zero degrees. And that zero is like, it's a liminal space. It's the in-between. We start adjusting, but we're not quite there yet. So today we're really in that final degree of Pisces. And this is preparation for several months, a little bit later this year, where we will have Neptune at the final degree of Pisces for several months. Um, so we really want to embrace the miraculous energy that Pisces can tap us into. Yes, it can also tap us into the karma and it can be heavy and it can also tune us into that place of miracles. And that's the place that I want to bring us all to today. Um, I love this post by Words of Vibrations and people are like, that's not realistic. As if the entire universe is not a living miracle beyond our wildest imagination. This is the energy to embrace, recognizing even me talking to you via this camera that can be seen like anywhere in the world, like the penguins in Antarctica could watch me if they wanted to. So <laughs> they haven't wanted to yet, but maybe one day. Um, it's a miracle and it's up to us to get beyond the illusion that anything is anything but miraculous in this world, truly. So, um, let's dig into these astro energies today. Speaking of the miraculous, the moon in Cancer is finishing up with a connection to Neptune early in the morning. Things may get really intuitive, things might get really trippy, and I've just really felt very heavy with this double water. Just a lot of emotions are processing, and part of this is because we are moving our way towards our next eclipse. Um, we're just, how many days out? six days out from our next eclipse, um, our next eclipse, our first eclipse of the year, technically. It feels like we're just coming off of last year's eclipse season, but here we are. We're moving into that, and eclipse energies kind of double or triple the power of a moon. So we're building into full moon energy. It likes to pull the emotions, and here it is in Cancer. And this moon in Cancer is like, it's doing the most. It's like, you gotta feel this, you gotta feel this, you gotta feel this. So as it connects to Neptune, we may be feeling some just karmic lessons. It's more so than karmic, just lessons. Things that have been pushed aside that need to be felt. We cannot get there without feeling what we need to feel here. And the longer you push it away, the more it kind of builds up <laughs> and, you know, pushes your buttons even further. But hopefully, hopefully there is growing, where is it, maturity to deal with these energies. Um, we're going to have the sun and the moon connect, 1152. Now this is really void space. So today would be a really great day to sit aside and meditate if you can. If you cannot meditate all day, choose five minutes, choose two minutes, choose 10 minutes. What do you have? What is the time you have? Take what you can and set a little time. Connect to God, universe. Connect to your higher self. Connect to the essence of miracles in and through the universe. Moon will move into Leo, our first little bit of fire coming in. Moon into Leo at 12.33 p.m. Pacific time. Now, this is meeting up with Pisces, so we may have a little dramatic flare come up, especially as the moon and Pluto are going to pull against each other. That's going to be at 3.49 p.m. Pacific time. So Pluto's going to be like, 
has your inner child dealt with this yet? <laughs> and your inner child's going to be like, no. <laughs> Maturity. <laughs> Maturity. <laughs> See if you can tap into that and be the parent to the child that's having the feels that need to be expressed in order to move to the next lesson. Um, probably going to get pretty sleepy. Like I said, between the void, of course, moon energy today, and then the sun preparing to move into Aries, which will move in at 8.06 p.m. Pacific time. I will have my scope up before it moves into Aries, but this Aries season is coming in fiery. It's coming in hot. We got to watch our reactive nature, and it's a time to double down on peeling away the the layers and really learning who we are getting beyond here we can use it again beyond the illusion of our I am energy and that's all I'm gonna say right now because I'm going to dig into the next one now people are gonna be like happy equinox today technically the equinox begins when the Sun moves into Aries and so our equinox is gonna span between the 19th and the 20th so dig in um, have a longer equinox. Celebrate doubly. Um, the other cards that I have today, besides the maturity and the beyond illusions, which are very appropriate, are the shoulds. Now, I feel like the shoddy card is preparing us for the Aries. Notice where you are getting shoddy on yourself. Oh my, Luce does not like the shoddiness. Notice where you are getting shoddy on yourself, who you should be, what you should be doing, instead of like leaning back into the liminal space of today's energy. The guidance card, yes, tap into your higher self, tap into God, universe, take some time to connect to that higher energy. Because sometimes when we're in the watery, it can feel so watery and like I just need a hand up, right? This is your hand up. Tuning into God universe, seeing it from another perspective. This is the possibilities card, but this could be also called another perspective. Um, and a lot of times it's the way we think about it that really keeps us stuck. There are, are miracles readily available and our energy mantra is a reminder to be realistic and expect the miracles. So I pulled one last roomy card, the blessings of Zara. Sahara. Oh, okay, here, perfect. Let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain. While thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. I swear I did not even look at this. This is amazing. This is why I love the universe. This is a miracle right here. Um, all right, you use thought to seek release from suffering and pain while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside your scope of thought. O oh, foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. When we are hungry, we reach for what food is available. If we are starving, we may gorge upon what is before us, only to find ourselves overfed, undernourished, and in a most uncomfortable and dissatisfied state. Your soul needs better quality food. It has been detoxing. You have been shedding old thoughts, feelings, pains, struggles. Memories of the past have been flooding out of your soul like parasites being expunged. And now your soul, thus cleansed, is in need of genuine nourishment to restore it to full radiance and vitality. Love will feed your hungry soul. And nothing less shall suffice. Um... You are encouraged to complete the sacred honoring ritual, to stay adequately hydrated, and to be moderate rather than excessive in your approach. Give your body and mind time to rest and replenish so that blessings can be received. This oracle brings you the message that if something appears to be leaving your life, even something painful to release, it is because it is no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting, and do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat in the heavenly table, gleaming before you, for a greater feast awaits your attendance. The sacred honoring ritual. Say aloud, I call upon Al-Sahara, the merciful divine one shining with grace, and Rumi who loves me without condition. 
I call upon the healing angels and I say the following declaration. With grace, I accept the shedding of that which is no longer worthy of me. I allow myself to release with merciful grace what no longer feeds my soul with truest of nourishment. I open to receive through unconditional love, healing, support, intervention, and protection, that I might shine with the divine radiance bestowed upon me in this blessing. I surrender my attachment to scraps and open my mind, body, and soul to the great feast. In profound gratitude, I bow to the compassion that leads me to the banquet of love now, and so be it. Lie down and rest for however long you need. Healing will happen during this time, so try to rest for at least 5 to 25 minutes more if possible. Following your rest, you may also like to have a shower or bath using a handful of regular salt as a gentle body scrub to support your psychic and physical cleansing processes. Enjoy this as an act of self-love. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. And that is it. Wrapping up Pisces season. I will be back with our Aries scope before the sun moves into Aries. Just know that fire is coming in and watch for, you know, reactive energies, especially in that moon Pluto opposition window. Um, besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are for you are the solution. Namaste.